So maybe her texts are getting shorter and more infrequent, or she's not asking you to hang out as much, or possibly you just get this general sense that she's losing interest. Yeah, this is really common in those early stages of dating. Well, you guys are in luck because today I'm going to tell you exactly what to do if you're in this situation. Welcome back to my channel guys, it's Brett Maverick here. I hope you're all having an awesome day so far. Here on this channel we talk about everything men's lifestyle from fitness to fashion, social skills, girls, you name it, we talk about it. So if you like what you see here, I'd really appreciate it if you subscribe and also if you don't mind, pull out your phone and follow me on Instagram at Brett MVRK. I put a lot of really cool stuff on there you won't find anywhere else. So you feel her backing off, right? And I don't know what you did to turn her off. Maybe you displayed some sort of weak behavior or pissed her off. I don't know, but what to do next remains the same regardless for every situation. And that is give her space. That's right, let me say it again. You need to give her space. You see, as men, it's our natural instinct to try to solve it. We're so goal oriented that we want to get to the bottom of it and reach out to her and try to fix it and get things back to the way that they were before you felt her losing interest. But this actually does the reverse and it pushes them back even more. So you need to give them space. You see, nothing can exist without space. It's sort of a duality, right? Just like there can be no good without bad. There can be no up without down. How are they supposed to realize the good in spending time with you and talking to you if you don't give them time and space to feel what it feels like to not talk to you, not be in contact with you? You see? If you're spending all your time with her or all your time in contact with her, texting her all day, then it all becomes one. It's not a duality anymore. All this time you spend with her just becomes the good, the bad, and everything in between, and it sort of loses its value. So by taking a step back, cutting off the contact, waiting for her to reach out, it shows your indifference. It shows that you are fine being with her, but you're also fine not being with her. It's not being a dick or being rude, it's just showing that you're fine either way. I call it the ice cream effect. So imagine your life like this amazing Neapolitan ice cream. You got your vanilla, that's your awesome career. You got the chocolate, that's your cool hobbies. And the strawberry, those are your dope friends. She is just the whipped cream on top, right? It's awesome if you have it, but it's still really awesome even if you don't have it, right? So by taking a step back, cutting off contact, you're giving her time to miss you again. And at the same time, this little bit of fear might creep back into her head that she may never hear from you again. So that's when she'll probably reach out. And in fact, studies show that attraction builds when people are unsure how the other person feels about them. So if you show that little bit of indifference, let them wonder what's going on, let them wonder what you're doing, why they haven't heard from you, then their attraction will build and they'll reach out. And then all you have to do is just text them back and set up a date. Let them know that you do care about them and want to meet up, but you're not totally dependent on them and then you have a life outside of them. So when she finally does reach out, just text her back a couple times. That's what phone calls and texting is for in those early stages of dating. It's just for a little bit of banter and then setting up a date. So after a couple texts, just say, I suppose you want to meet up, right? And she'll probably say yes, unless some, you've messed up somewhere along the way. Set it up and then repeat the process. That's pretty much it, guys. I recommend you guys read the book, How to Be a 3% Man by Corey Wayne. It's one of the best books on relationships and dating advice. That's how I learned a lot of the stuff that I know. I'll link it down below. And uh, I think you guys will really enjoy this. I hope you use these tips because it'll definitely help you out. It's not rocket science, guys. Just give them space, all right? Hope you enjoyed the video. If you haven't already, subscribe, turn those post notifications on, and until next time, peace.